the calibration cycle. Uh, the printer's going to advance and then go back. Now we're going to print 10 consecutive pages. There's some slight line-to-line -line mis misalignment. That is due to the spur gear not being an exact, the exact correct pitch diameter for the uh, paper feed shaft. Right now we're using a 29 tooth 64 pitch spur gear. Um, the correct spur gear dimensions that we should be using are um, 32, which would get us a little bit closer. So print to print accuracy is, is pretty good, it's pretty reproducible. We do have some issues at the beginning of the print, but it appears as though fairly consistently we can get it to print on the first go, and um, the ejection cycle is correctly taken care of. Typically misalignment issues happen on the first print. Um, subsequent prints relative to that first print are always aligned. The alignment is roughly um, 500 microns or less. Improved accuracy can be achieved with a, with a more accurate spur gear. Excellent. So just to overview the components, we have a waste fluid collection microfluidic chip, which is actually not turned on at the moment, which is over here. Um, this draws the fluid, the waste fluid out and through to a collection flask. Um, there is a printer carriage assembly on the far left. That is used uh, as a um, side rail. There is the main drive rack and rail that's down here. There is a standard um, linear bearing and carriage mount that is mounted underneath the bottom of the printer. The paper shaft is routed through the side of the printer and drives two sets of spur gears. The first spur, spur gear is on a drive rack, which is right here, and the second spur gear is on a uh, one-way clutch. That allows the uh, spur gear to um, the rack to transition to the clutch rack during the ejection cycle. Other than um, the rerouting the the drive the the paper feed shaft through the side of the printer, adding this one clutch component and a fairly clever assembly on the back side to indicate the beginning and end of paper feed. Um, no paper printer components are modified um, in this hack. One could expect um, that the accuracy of this print would be greatly enhanced if the racks were migrated from being fabricated out of acrylic to being fabricated in aluminum.
As far as inks that can be printed, um, we found that almost any water-based solution can be printed with a thermal inkjet, so long as it contains at least 1% um, isopropanol or alcohol solution. Um, we have had not we have not had any difficulties printing our um, various water-based solutions. Currently, we're just printing standard uh, inkjet cartridges. You'll notice that um, we have some error, especially at the very beginning of the print, right here. Um, at present, I'm not sure as to what the origin of that is. The variability lower down here and here could be indicative of the fact that um, our um, linear bearing on the side, the flange bearing, um, is losing, is wiggling.